Dumbfounded. Big wax. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. That's what I need. Hey, hey. Well, I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. That's what I need. Hey, hey. Said I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. That's what I need. And if I share with you my story, will you share your dollar with me? I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. I stay stressed out cause money's hard to find Even when I find some of it I always end up shoving it into the pocket Till somebody has already got a ton of it Keep your 99% I just wanna get one of it Keep your private jet man I'm just trying to keep my oven lit I need a dollar Hey is this yours? Yeah thanks No problem Yeah it's a nice bike you've got Thanks Give it to me What? Ah! Oh. Fish are killed by outboard motors every year? Sir? Do you know? Over 1,000. And you know what's being done about this? Nothing. Environmentalists clamor for change, yet their wallets are too thin to implicate any sort of defense, and the poor fish are chopped to bits. Manatees, sir. Manatees? Thank you, Bob, you silly fool. Manatees have these problems, not fish. Did you know that, Bob? No, sir. But I really think you should know. I know you were sent out to get a bike. A very special bike. And yet you come back here, bikeless! I'm the outboard motor, you're the fish! Manatee. Manatee! Thank you, Bugs. Bugs is the environmentalist, I guess. This analogy is not working very well for me. So, Bob, you failed to take a bike from a child. He wasn't a child. And I, I handled him just fine. I just got caught up in the kickstand, that's all. As if excuses make it better? As if the fact that you had trouble with quicksand is supposed to spark mercy in my tender soul? Kickstand, sir. Not quicksand. Kickstand? Oh. <laughs> Actually, quicksand would have been a fairly legitimate excuse. Remember, Bogs, back in 06, we lost like three guys to quicksand in one day. Man, that was a bad day. Bogs betrayed me that day, too. Did you know that, Bob? Well, don't worry. We're good. We fixed it. We smoothed it over. We're fine, right, Bogs? Now, anyway. You failed me, Bob, and I don't take that very lightly. But I know how we can get him still. Feel free to enlighten us. He left this, and his number is on the inside tag. So we can just call him and tell him where we are so he can come confront you and I can trade the bike for the glove. You're a genius, Bob. Bob, go get this man some water. You like water, right, Bob? Yes. Excellent, I will make the call. Yes, Ray? We have your glove, and the man who punched you. Good, excellent, we are at 444 Bradburn Street. Great. You, wait on something. What did he say? He'll be here in two minutes. So you're gonna give me my glove back, or what? Right to the point, I like this guy. No, not yet. We need you to give us your bike first. You stole my glove after trying to steal my bike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. do not pin this on me. That was Bob. Don't you dare pin this on me. I'm not giving you my bike. I had a feeling we would reach this impasse. Bugs, bring me the antidote. Antidote to what? Poison. You see Bob out there? I just poisoned him. What? Yes, yes, we gave him some poisoned water. It was very easy. Now you need to give me the bike, and I will give him the antidote. I don't even know him. I don't even know you. What if you're bluffing? Bob, how are you feeling? Uh, pretty drowsy, actually. Poison. So let me get this straight. If I give you my bike, you're going to save the life of a guy who tried to steal my bike and punch me in the face. And then I get my glove back? Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. The glove is off the table. This is strictly a life-saving negotiation at this point. You're not even gonna give me my stupid glove back? Why do you need it? You're stalling. If he dies, you never get the glove back. I won't get it back if he lives either. True. 
But will you be able to live with that on your conscience? This is ridiculous. Save him. Give me your bike. Give him the antidote. Stop. This is silly. Bob has it. Poison, I switched the poisons. What? So where is it? I drank it. Dude, what? Why? So you have decided to betray me again after all. Take the antidote, it's right there! I can't. That's not the antidote. I switched that out too. Of course you did. And I gave it to Bob. You devil! That's why he's drowsy! No, to be honest, I think you're just overworking him. He needs a day off. So you're gonna die now, you know that, right? Of course he does. It's the ultimate stab in the back. He betrays me yet again and gets no repercussions. What about death? Tell me, Boggs, what is the last piece of your puzzle? How have you betrayed me? Well, while you were conversing with this young man, I moved his bike to an undisclosed location. No! Disclose it to me! Disclose it, you fool! Never. <clears throat> no. I'll take it to my grave. I'll never find his bike. How dare you, Boggs? Wait a minute. I didn't bring my bike with me. What? A friend dropped me off like four minutes ago. What is the meaning of this? That wasn't your bike out there? The one with the blue stripes, chained to the steps? Stripes? That's my bike, a criminal! Well, at least this wasn't a complete waste. No, no! Where is my bike? What have you done with it? Disclose it to me, you fool! You! So I'm gonna go. Not without your glove, you're not. It's back on the table. A bike for a glove. It's not on the table. It's right here. I took it like five seconds ago. Oh, well then, you must simply so have- I'm gonna go now. Son of a Turn to the Mac, get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hippie. Get up, first shot, come struck walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy. Yeah. And I'm eating at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We walk.